Welcome back to DS Trucks. So check it out, guys. We got a brand new enclosed trailer for our lawn mowing operations. Now, this is interesting because this is actually a hauling enclosed trailer, and it was the cheapest trailer that I could find in this configuration. This is an eight and a half by 16. So the same length as our utility trailer that we've been using in the past, just enclosed and eight and a half wide pretty cool trailer but definitely the cheapest trailer out there so i paid ten thousand five hundred for this trailer and the comparative ones out there were like sixteen thousand plus dollars now this being a little bit cheaper um it only has seven k axles or two thirty five hundred pound axles so not the strongest axles out there not a ton of payload for doing a whole bunch of different stuff but perfect for lawnmowers um so the payload is like seven thousand pounds but the amount of weight that you can actually put in here because of the weight of that trailer the frame and everything uh it's not going to be quite seven thousand pounds left over um let's see the payload is 4300 pounds so 4,300 pound payload, not too terrible. And keep in mind the tongue weight right now, uh, as it sits, there's probably like just over 100 pounds on the tongue. It's right there at about 100 pounds on the tongue. But um, put a mower up there, you'll be at five, 600 pounds in no time. So with five, 600 pounds on the tongue, you really in reality could put um, Let's see, over 5,000 pounds in this thing. Let's see here. The payload is 43. So you could probably put 4,500 pounds in here with some of that payload being used up on the tongue of the of the truck. So this is how it opens. A little stiff right now because it is new, but it's gonna have to pull this down. <sighs> kind of hard to pull down because the springs are pretty new but um it's got a flat right there to make it easier to enter now this does seem like a it was just ordered and geared for a landscape operation or a lawn mowing operation i think honestly full-blown landscaping would probably necessitate heavier duty axles but for lawn mowing it's kind of just the minimum guys uh it does have lighting which only turns on when the truck is hooked up, running, and it's sending 12 volts to the trailer, which is only when the truck's running and the brakes have been applied. This thing, I think I already broke this because I opened up this door too far and this spring already broke just to show how cheap this thing is. Or it wasn't even able to hold the door, so uh, yeah extremely cheap extremely cheap on some of the stuff but you know the nicer trailers like with the nicer trailer you would have been able to turn on these lights no problem with this being the cheapy trailer i mean it's a little weird quirks but at the end of the day i had to kind of look at the roi on the whole deal like why would i need a sixteen thousand dollar trailer i'm gonna get dirty full of grass just jacked up and this work that we do lawn mowing it's kind of dirty work. I mean, it's going to bring all that grass in here, dump it on the ground. I'm probably going to put, I'm probably going to uh, strap down the mower. So I got two tie downs right here and two in the front. I need, uh, I need at least two more so I can have three points of contact with, with every mower. Uh, so with the three points of contact, I need, well, I'll probably just go ahead and put two more tie downs in here so that I can put some chains. I, I like just using chains on my mowers. I'll just hook them up and just drive them forward and then throw another chain on the front. Uh, actually, I'll probably have the two chains on the front and I'll just have one on the back, I'm thinking. But wherever the mowers sit, they're gonna, they're gonna drop grass right out of the deck, especially in spring when it's wet. So I'm just gonna put a piece of metal diamond plate wherever it's dropping its grass. And I might even put a piece of diamond plate on this seal right here to keep it from getting in here because once you, once this gets going grass is going to want to fill this gap and make it hard to close the door so 
I got some stuff to do. Now, that's one of the things about getting a cheaper trailer. It leaves me a little bit of extra money to do all this, this extra modification that I want to do. Uh, I'll probably add some more lights. I was actually thinking about wiring my 12-volt battery to uh, this battery right here, the breakaway battery. I was thinking about wiring it because I actually play with the wires in here and was able to get those interior lights to turn on. But then again, that means the 12 volts coming out of the truck would then would then charge that battery. And I don't know if that battery can take a charge. Uh, it's really just a breakaway battery. If you leave that battery alone, it stays fine for a couple of years and it doesn't really do anything unless the uh, truck comes disconnected from the trailer. So I'm not sure if you could actually just keep trickle charging that from the truck. That or I could actually come in here and add a 12 volt deep cycle battery somewhere else maybe i'll put it inside maybe i'll put it outside uh maybe better to even put that outside but if there's another 12 volt deep cycle battery then i could um have the lights work when the trailer is not connected or the truck's not running like right now you can't get the lights to work because the truck's not running but anyway what do you guys think it is a 16 by eight and a half silver and it's like the same silver as the truck pretty cool pretty cool setup so both the 250 and the 450 are silver and the trailer is going to match and this is the only one that matches uh our setup the other one that costs a lot more didn't even match our setup but being cheap it does need more venting it only has the one vent on the front but i will say this it had a really nice door <coughs> on the side big old 48 inch door and it's got a latch here <sighs> kind of hard to do that oh with one hand is it missing a screw it's already missing a screw look at that so the latch here is already missing a screw this tray looks like brand new so we'll latch it <sighs> yeah look at that guys so yeah i gotta <laughs> i gotta add a screw there missing missing a screw so yeah little stuff like that i gotta go through and touch up i'm gonna put like i say nice big door here guys look how big this is huge door so if you ever need to vent get some good ventilation real good ventilation you can open that door and uh just let that stink flow out of here because it's gonna stink bad but i think the silver is gonna be good because it is a more reflective color and it's gonna look good with our truck and we're gonna go ahead and put the logo on the trailer just like it is on the truck but anyway just wanted to show you guys my cheap enclosed trailer it was the cheapest one out there and 10.5 is a lot of money but with today's inflation it is what it is but anyway guys this is DS trucks my name is Sean see you guys in the next video over and out